ever since the massive James Harden news dropped, on Facebook, Twitter, and even ESPN, I have been seeing this narrative pushed that if LeBron James meets these Brooklyn Nets in the NBA Finals and wins, he's the undisputed GOAT. Stop it. Get some help. LeBron will forever be one of the greatest to ever play this game. But we gotta stop pushing this narrative that he is an underdog in every situation. His team is a current NBA champion and they have only gotten better with their offseason additions. Literally every analyst except Skip said the Lakers had the best offseason in the NBA. The biggest argument I've been hearing on why this victory would make him the undisputed goal is because the team has 3 of the top 15 players in the league. That is true, but why are people quick to forget LeBron is playing with a top 5 talent? You may have heard him, AD, and the current 6th man of the year and a finalist. The Lakers also have other key contributors that round out the squad and make them more complete. Brooklyn on the other hand has gaping holes in their roster construction. Yes, they have three of the greatest scorers in NBA history, and I am not taking anything away from them. They are generational talents, but there's a certain fit issue with these three. They are all primary ball handlers and love isolation scoring. They in fact were leaders in this category. So there for sure will be a chemistry issue with these three, they'll have to be worked out. Which will be harder with Kyrie in and out of the lineup. Not to mention, the Brooklyn Nets were a terrible defensive team prior to the Harden trade. So acquiring him does not solve that. I'm not trying to devalue this team, I'm just calling it as I see it. This team for sure has the potential to be a super team that three-peats. But all of us know there's some massive holes within them that they need to address first. There's a reason why Vegas odds still favored the Lakers over the Nets for the championship. So how can you crown LeBron, the undisputed GOAT, for beating a team he's favored to beat? Makes no sense. And if you still want to crown him the undisputed GOAT for if he's able to accomplish this feat, let's not forget, LeBron also was on a team with 3 of the top 15 players in the league and lost against Dirk Nowitzki. Does that make Dirk the GOAT? Think about it. This is Earn Your Ranks, where we only talk about ball. Signing off.